Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about that things with you, how can add that multiple image. So right now we can actually able to add that multiple image at a time, right? So now in this video, I want to discuss about some of the default authentication. If you go to that default authentication profile, so friend Laravel 8 is for the default authentication system. Okay. That means they really want to focus to the all that their users that you don't need to be hesitate with the authentication system. So everything is now relief. So here you don't need to create another option for the create password. Okay, that is a two authentication. Every authentication system is ready made. You can see you can now change that images. You can upload that profile picture. That means the user profile picture. You can change that email address found to this position. So everything is ready made. But in a Laravel 7 or 6, we have to do, we have to actually create it manually, right? So right now everything is ready made. So for the reasons as I told you, Laravel wants there to the user that you don't need to be hesitate for the authentication authentication system. So they actually build up everything for your um, um, support. So right now I want to do and to share some of the things with you. Like here, that is our profile, right? If you go to our user table into the database if you go to that our user table so into the user table here you can see that is all that field the email the email verification at the password and the two factor secret code and then the profile photo so now i want to do i want to discuss about this profile like if you open it if you now uh, select one of the new picture so right now i want to do i want to select or the my this picture okay that means this picture i want to select click as open and after that, if you click as a save, now you can see friend, this picture is not visible because of all, if you go to your database, into the database, now if you click as a browse, now you can see that is actually the extension as a profile and the photos and that is the file name. That means the images name. So here, if you want to visible it and also if you copy it, I show you, if you copy that copy image address and now if you paste it, so now you can see friend is now showing as a first of all the local host but right now we are using our this server right so here it's not getting that our this portion and after that that is also the storage so here we have to do we have to also add that storage folder and then the profile photo and th that means that is all, all one of the default folder and then that is our jpg so here if you want to update this path then first of all you have to do you have to add our this storage command that means it should be created on the short link so into the public into the public area it should be created on the short links so if you want to create that storage path in laravel they have also one of the command i show you you have to do you have to go to your appropriate file location and here you have to run as a php artisan storage link okay so you have to create this storage link so if you put it and after that if you click as a enter now you can see it's now created one of the link as a link has been created and also you can see that is a one of the folder as a shortcut folder storage is open and with the folder you can see that is actually the profile photos so into the profile photo that is the profile i have updated right so here we successfully updated that part so now our another command that means this portion is now working and now our this portion we have to update like if you open copy it I show you if you copy it and now if you add this on here and now if you just enter you can see that is actually the images so that's the image I want to visible it on here right so now we have to do you have to update this server so if you want to update this server then you have to do you have to go to your dot env if you go to that our dot env and here you can see by default that our app url as a local host so now I want to do I want to change it. I paste it our local server right now, this one. So here I want to use it. Okay, so that will be our local server. So when you updated anything into the .env file, after that you have to do, you have to actually run your server again. So better I want to do, I want to close it. Okay, close it and now I want to run the server. Go here and now I make it as a CMD and then PHP artisan serve click as the enter our server is now running again so then it will be better actually so now if you refresh it yes you can see friend now our image is perfectly visible okay and also you can see the our image is visible i hope you will understand about it so whatever the images now you can choose 
so you can actually choose it from here so if you want to choose this one i choose this one automatically it will be updated click as a save and now you can see friend it's now successfully updated okay and also if you want to change that name you can change it as per your demand if you want to change that email address you can change it so right now i am locking with this email address right so with this email address i am you already use one of the password right they have also i default one of the password so right now i want to do I want to change that password so friend here you don't need to do anything everything is ready made like here you have to do you have to add your um, current password okay so if you put some of the inappropriate password also it's showing all that your validation like if you click as a save now you can see it's not showing that validation the provider password does not match your current password and also the password confirmation does not match that means all that your validation is ready made okay so here only you have to do you have to add your current password so right now i'm using as udemy one two three four five and udemy one two three four five six right now i want to use and udemy one two three four five six okay so right now i'm using it now click as a save yeah you can see password is become saved okay so right now if you log out and if you now logging uh, like here it's now showing as update password again or not so i will do that things later i click the login so you can see that is our admin at the gmail.com so now if you use that or my old password you do want to three four five now click as a login now you can see it's now showing as a of oh, something or wrong that means our password is successfully updated if you use our new password as you do me one two three four five six now click as a login yes you can see right now that is a perfectly logging okay so i hope you understand that part so right now you from here you can upload update your profile photo the name email address the update password so from here you can also update your password okay so that is the very much interactive things everything is ready made just you have to do you have to use it and also here you can see that is friend is a profile api token and the logout so if you want to change it as i told you before if you go to our config file so into the config they have also one of the file as a jd stream so into the jd stream as i told you there is a features for the uh, profile photos and the features for the api okay so if you want to change it you can change it and also that is our another one and that is another one as a um, that is actually 40s okay 45 and with the 45 here that is also you can see that is actually the, our register the reset this update information update password to factor authentication everything you can actually manage it from here and for the email verification i will also show you how can working with the email verification so literally i will show you that things with you and now i want to do i want to manage it like i don't want to display that api i make it as a comment out now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it and now click on here you can see the api is totally gone so now there is option for the um, uh, profile and then there is a logout i hope it's very much clear to you and also one thing like if you go to our dashboard that means when you logged in automatically it's redirected to this dashboard right so if you want to change this name that means the dashboard where exactly the file location i show you and that then you have to do you have to go to your providers that means that is actually the providers and into the providers you have to go to that route service and into the route service here you can see that for this one as a home as a dashboard so if you want to change it you can change it from to this position so that is also prefix for the api the name is space route everything okay so everything you will get from to this position so that is all the default file is now updated so previously when you use that laravel 6 7 here we have to update that boot for migration so right now they don't need to do anything everything is ready made so everything is working perfectly so that's all about the default profile section so here if you don't want to visible the two factors authentication if you want to make it as a enable disable then you can actually make it disable for, with using our this um, jd stream that means uh, there is our 45 right so into the 45 there is option for the our um, update profile there is our two factor so if you want to make it as a uh, comment out then automatically it's not should be visible so i hope friend you enjoyed very much so there is a default authentication everything so everything is ready made so you can actually use it as per your demand 
So you know, next video I want to discuss about another most important part that a lot of the student actually get confused with this. I click as a logout. If you click as a login, and they have also option for the forget password. So how can actually working with this forget password option with using I can get this mail in our next video I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video